my name is Laura, and this is Rachel, and we're going to be presenting a skit for you today. And in this skit, I'll be portraying an archaeologist in the modern day. Rachel is going to be portraying Mary Washington, George Washington's mother. Now for Mary Washington, the year is 1750. Our skit is called Fashion and Comforts in the Washington Home. And the Washington family moved to Ferry Farm in 1738. Just five years later, George's father, Augustine, died. George was only 11 years old. His mother, Mary, remained widowed, and she stayed at the site until 1772, for a total of 34 years. George lived here until 1754. Hello, Mrs. Washington. I must say it's a pleasure to meet the mother of George Washington. Yes, he's my oldest son. He does well in school and is a fine horseman. However, his enthusiasm for soldiering causes me some degree of anxiety. Forgive me, uh, who are you? My name is Laura, and I have the honor of studying your artifacts. My what? Uh, did Dr. Sunderland send you? No, ma'am, your artifacts. We dig the soil around your house looking for the objects that you used every day so that we can understand more about what your life was like. We find things like bits of your plates and drinking glasses, your buttons, your food remains. Surely you're not referring to our trash. Yeah! Oh, how peculiar. I have heard of workmen in Italy discovering old objects from Pompeii dating back thousands of years. But what could you possibly learn from the broken bits of things that we have thrown away? A great deal. You see, the archaeology of your home shows that life here was not as spartan as some scholars Please have... Please sit up straight. Some scholars have made it out to be. For, for example, We've discovered several shirts from a number of teapots that you owned. And this tells us that the tea ceremony was really important to you and your family. Well, any family of class and quality knows to offer tea to any honored guest. My daughter Betty has charmed many young genteel gentlemen over a cup of Bowie tea. Such occasions allow us to judge the suitability of her many male callers. Are they fashionably dressed? Are they well groomed? Do they have good manners? That sort of thing. And believe me, George and his brothers have enjoyed tea at more than a few young ladies' homes as well. We even discovered one of Betty's teaspoons. It featured her initials, B.W. Oh yes, I bought that set of teaspoons for Betty. You know, the Mercer's daughter doesn't even have her own set of personalized spoons and neither does the Willis's. Betty serves tea beautifully. You know, it's a skill that every young lady must perfect if she expects to marry well. Marriage? She's only 16. And should be finding a suitable husband soon. As a matter of fact, her cousin Fielding just buried his wife Catherine last week. He would make an excellent husband for Betty. <laughs> I, I notice you have a lovely folding fan, Mrs. Washington. We've discovered several delicately carved bone fan sticks, evidence for one of your many fans. <laughs> well, naturally, as ladies of class and quality, Betty and I use fans. They're an indispensable tool for attracting attention and showing off one's assets. My fan shows that I am a fashionable and eminent member of my community. I can also communicate silently using my fan. With a quick flutter of my wrist like this, I can show my growing intolerance for tiresome visitors. Do you really keep all of those broken fan parts and shards? Absolutely. We've even discovered hook and eye fasteners and straight pins, the things that you use to fasten your clothes. Don't you think that that's a bit personal? As you know, these hook and eye fasteners were especially popular for women's fashions. We found several of these around your home. Indeed. And straight pins? We found thousands of them. Hmm. We've 
discovered over 140 wig hair curlers. No one knew you wore a wig, Mrs. Washington. Don't be silly. I don't wear a wig. Some of my sons do. <sighs> Wigs, fans, serving tea, they allow my children and I to demonstrate to the community what a thriving and accomplished family that we are. With each passing day, the archaeology of your home shows us what a hard-working mother that you were. These objects tell us that fashion, comfort, and making a good impression were all important to you and that you taught your children these values as well. And people of your time care about these little everyday details of our lives? We certainly do. You see, some researchers have suggested that because of the financial difficulty you experienced after your husband's death, that life here at Fairy Farm was pretty bleak. Your folding fans and tea wares, your clothing fasteners and wig hair curlers tell us that life here at Fairy Farm wasn't without some comfort and even included some trendy fashions. Well, I suppose your little preoccupation with our trash serves a purpose. I would not want for people to think that our home was anything less than exemplary. Whereas we had to be careful with our finances, we did not lack in comfort. Thank you for visiting me today and for your attention to these details. Would you care for some tea? I'd love some. Can I call you Mary? No. <laughs> <laughs>